Talat Hamdani's son, Salman, had been planning to study medicine. He was a trained emergency medical technician and died in the North Tower. We accompanied Talat to Queen's College, where her son was to receive a belated honor. The college has established an annual scholarship in his name, which will financially aid a medical student of Pakistani descent. Salman Hamdani had at first been accused of being a terrorist. We heard that there had been allegations that he'd been involved in some way as one of the planners rather than as one of the victims, which was, was of course, that was nonsense. I found out about it early on because one of our students had worked, was working as an, as an ambulance dispatcher and gave me the flyer. I immediately called the FBI and said, this fellow is not a terrorist. If you actually want any information about him, give me a call. I never heard from them. In the weeks following the terror attacks, Muslims became the focus of collective accusation. The father of Anam, the recipient of the scholarship, was also treated as suspect. One day my wife called me. I was on the work. She called me and told me, FBI has called and uh, they want to ask you some questions. I told her, FBI usually don't call, they just come read to you. So when I came home, I called them back, they left their number. So I called them, they asked me, where are you? I said, I'm at home. Okay, we're coming. 15, 20 minutes, three people came. Then he asked me a question. He said, I know, it's a stupid question, but I still have to ask you. I said, what's that? Do you know how to fly the plane? <laughs> I said, if I know, I do the construction. Only, only, only paper, paper aeroplane. <laughs> so, so they check most of them. They check most uh, Muslims. Last 10 years were tough, you know, especially immediately after 9-11 happened. Mm -hmm. um, it was tough, you know, as an American and more so as an mm -hmm. American Muslim. Um, I have uh, no fears, you know, and I am not intimidated by anybody. No matter what they say about me or my child or my faith, and uh, but it has become very tough for the Muslims, you know, not only in American soil but globally. Uh, and I said years ago, I remember, you know, the world will uh, respect Muslims the way America treats her Muslim citizens at home. From now on, the scholarship will be awarded each year to a student with Pakistani heritage. It goes some way to making belated amends to Talat, and also to Salman, who had received no financial support to help him achieve his dream profession. I'm very happy that you're getting the award and the scholarship established in Salman's honor as his, as his legacy uh, to humanity. This is his legacy. He gave his life. They tried to take away his dignity in death, and they cannot do it. He was the only responder who had no specific reason to be there other than that he volunteered to go. So I certainly would like to see some recognition of the fact that he did volunteer and, and run to help. It wasn't his job to be there, but he, he did it. Yeah, because that's where the bugs go up from. So you sprinkle them on the floor, but they you know... After the awards ceremony with Talad, we again went with her to visit Adele. She showed us the street she lives on, which has been renamed after Timothy. This memorial had also been disputed at first. They wanted to put it up on the um, pole, or on that pole over there. Uh -huh. And I said, no, I wanted an individual poll. I was hoping that 204 Street would be named after Salman, but mm -hmm. it didn't happen and it doesn't matter. I have this nice scholarship set up as a very nice legacy, you know? It's a wonderful legacy. Yes, and it's something that will keep reoccurring and inspire people and, uh, you know, keep his legacy alive, that's it. Long after I'm gone. <laughs>
Talat wanted us to see the house where she had raised her son, Salman. Well, after we moved out from here, I didn't have the courage to drive by, you know. Um, and I think I've come back here now, like after four years. And uh, I'm, I'm not sad anymore, you know, so I'm, I'm actually healed now, you know. I can talk about Salman without crying and that, that small window up there. He lived in that room for a couple of years, like for three, four, four years. When did he stop crying? Hmm. Well, this is the first time I've visited this place and I'm not crying. So, like Queen's Cottage. Previously, I used to drive by there, it was sad. And uh, now I can go in there, you know, because my son's scholarship is there. and. It, it gives me a lot of comfort, you know, and peace, and a sense of uh, 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 what you call it, uh, emotional, emotional healing. 